I came to bury sleep. The cursed spite that ever I was born to set it Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? This is the excellent foppery of the world. So I went to Kauai and did the, uh, in a big hotel ballroom, did the, uh, did the lady with um, a wonderful actor playing uh, Macbeth who was uh, going to school out there, I think at the University of Hawaii for some Hawaii for some graduate work. And I found it so difficult to play. It's, I know from my own non-Shakespeare work how difficult it is when you have um, uh, um, um, an aggravating character like uh, Violet in August Osage County where for two years I was just miserable, miserable, miserable inside the whole time I played that character. And uh, I, w I found it really, really hard to play that kind of miserable person, even in Shakespeare. I really did. And that, and that was interesting to me because you know, because we grow up thinking it's poetic and sort of off the ground. And when you get your feet on the ground and have to do it, it's really hard. That particular play, I think, is hard. Which is probably why there are so many superstitions about bad things happening to you when you do that play. I found that I couldn't really get on to classical material until I was about 40, 45 in there and then I began to work on Medea and I started working on The Lady and uh, some Chekhov because up to that time I I couldn't really understand it. To act it I mean I could understand it intellectually but I couldn't really understand it stand how to how to be it so uh, it was funny um, that that happened and then I started working on it, and then I got really really interested in it and I got in touch with all the regional theater people I knew because when the regional theater started it was to bring really good theater to the regions it was not to put on tryouts for Broadway or you know commercial theater as it were it was really to bring good theater to the country and that would of course include Shakespeare and every time I called and said, I'm prepared to do Medea, I'm prepared to do Run of Sky, I'm prepared to do The Lady, I would get a call back to do something like Sunday night or Saturday night, Sunday morning or some play I had absolutely no interest in. Because the whole regional theater was obviously changing then to like make money instead of do good theaters. I went to Connecticut College for women because my sister had gone there. And naturally I was going to be in the English department because I love words. And um, I had been in the theater since I was six in a community theater and uh, we were studying the Scottish play. And the head of the English department, uh, I went to the class and the class started and she lectured about it. And I went to the dean after the class and I said, I'm leaving the English department. I'm absolutely horrified that people would talk about Shakespeare intellectually. It just makes me so sick. I cannot possibly take that class and I cannot possibly remain in the English department if that's what they do to Shakespeare. Can you believe it? I, w I, was, just, I was just out of my mind. So I turned to political science and I got my degree in political science because I couldn't stand Shakespeare being taught as an intellectual pursuit. <laughs>